hello guys and welcome to youtube channel pj uh, today we'll be discussing some basics of eeg and what are the normal waves in eeg okay so uh, let's start so before uh, proceeding further uh, i would request you to please subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon so that the next video which will be coming gets to you at earliest okay so today we'll be discussing discussing the basics of eeg okay so first of all uh, we need to know that how the electrodes are uh, arranged on the uh, patient okay so uh, in normal this is the head okay and the technician places first four electrodes okay this is the forehead and at one electrode is placed at the mesion okay it is the junction between the nose and the forehead okay one electrode is placed at a mesion then the second electrode is placed at the ineon okay ineon is the prominent uh, part of the occiput okay which can be felt when you feel your skull okay then two electrodes are placed at the pre auricular region okay one on the right and one on the left side okay so first of all these four electrodes are placed okay then electrodes are placed on other areas of the head at certain distance uh, at certain points okay uh, like some electrodes in the sphenoidal some in the suboccipital region are placed okay and it, so that uh, most of the brain is covered uh, to get the recording okay so uh, we need to remember uh, some rules uh, to see EEG okay the number one is uh, there are different letters alphabets uh, you need to uh, note they will be pointing to certain type of electrode okay okay like F uh, it will pointing to frontal region then there is fp it is frontopolar okay p for temporal p for parietal these all electrodes you need to know to uh, exactly uh, identify the problem that in which area of the brain there is a problem Okay, P for parietal, C for central, and O for occipital, and A for auricular. Okay, so these are the some of the uh, uh, abbreviations that you know need to know. After these, after you know the letters, then you will find you will see in a while. Then you will see that there are some numbers uh, with this, like T3. Okay, you will may find like T4, P4. Okay, so these specify a number and an area. So first, you are looking at the alphabet. You are getting to the point that which area is it? Like if you find a P4. Okay. So what P4 mean is P is for parietal region. Okay. Now what does 4 mean? 4 it will point to which side of the brain the wave is coming from. Okay. So the second rule we need to remember is that the right side. Okay. The right sided leads will have even number. Like two, four, six, eight. Okay, and left side leads will have odd numbers. One, sorry, three, five, seven. Okay, so I think that this is clear. And one other thing that uh, you need to remember is. Uh, that sometimes there is a Z point. Okay. Z point is the central point. 
or midline okay if you see a uh, cz c is for come here c is for central and midline so now you see that when you will see the leads now you can easily uh, reach to the point that which part of area it is talking about okay now we see the slide you see this is fp frontoparietal fp1 then is f3 frontal 3 frontal 3 central 3 so you see 1 3 here is again 3 3 3 3 so these are all leads of the these are odd numbers these are left sided okay it's left sided fronto parietal area okay now you see here again e3 parietal 3 occipital 1 okay uh, then is f2 fp2 yeah now you see there is p3 o1 so this is parieto occipital parieto occipital now you see and this is again left side so till here till here all is left side okay now you see frontoparietal 2 okay parietal 4 central 4 now you see there are odd numbers sorry even numbers 2 4 4 2 4 okay so these are right sided so if you find any abnormality in this area it will be you can easily tell that it is in the fronto central area okay and of the left side similarly all other leads where you find even number it's right side i will again write it down for you even right side or left side so in normal eg there is some background activity okay background activity and this background activity is best evaluated in posterior channels okay usually occipital region okay and for this background activity patient needs to have eyes closed okay and number three thing is that there are four different frequencies in a background activity okay so the third four are number one is delta delta frequency okay so delta frequency is that there is marked slowing okay so uh, you know frequency is number of waves per second okay so in delta there will be one to three hertz frequency in one second there will be one to three waves there will be slowing of waves okay at number two we have theta waves okay these are mildly slow okay and they, they have a frequency of four to seven hertz okay it has one to three hertz and four to seven hertz at number three we have alpha waves okay this is the normal background okay this is the normal background activity and it has a frequency of 8 to 13 hertz in one second okay 
and number four is beta waves. It is seen in by beach rates, poisoning or something like that. Okay, and it has more than thirteen hertz frequency. Okay, so now we know that there are four type of waves: delta waves, theta waves, alpha waves, and beta waves. Delta waves are marked slowing. Theta wave is mildly mildly slowing. This is the normal background. And this is in arbitrary rates. So here you see, uh, it, this picture is depicting delta frequency. Okay, we have discussed that delta frequency is one to three waves per second. So these lines, these green lines, are depicting our area of one second. Okay, so you can see in one second here one wave, two wave, maybe three waves. Okay, one wave. Two wave, three waves. One, two, three. So you see, roughly there are around three waves in the delta frequency. Next, we have beta frequency. In beta frequency, we told that there are more than thirteen hertz. So you can calculate yourself. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. In one second, the number of waves are more than thirteen. So this this is the beta frequency. Then we have a theta frequency. Okay, so in theta frequency, we uh, said that there is mild slowing. The, uh, the wave ratio is around the rate is four to seven hertz. Okay, you see one, two, three, four, five, six. You can see any wave, one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven. Okay, so roughly it's four to seven hertz. And this is a normal EEG, and you can calculate it. It is alpha waves, normal background. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so it is eight to thirteen hertz. Okay, eight to 13 hertz so this is normal background activity so till now we have discussed some basics that how we will localize the area like what does fp fp1 means and what does fp7 means okay fp1 and f7 this is pointing to frontoparietal area of the left side exactly because we know that fp is frontoparietal and 1 and 7 are odd numbers these will point to the left side okay so <clears throat> this was all for today this is all the basics for the eeg and in next lecture we will be discussing uh, different abnormal waves like spike waves okay waves slow waves poly spike waves okay and other abnormalities and we will be specifically talking about SSPE, okay, myoclonic, and other epilepsies. Okay, so uh, I hope you like this video and this was informative for you. And please like this channel and do subscribe so that I make more videos for you. Thank you.